So the folks over at IK Multimedia have followed up their very recent release of the Tonex 1.5 update with the new 1.5 one update which has addressed some concerns that the user community had brought up about things they would like to have seen added to 1.5. So I think it's a really wonderful thing that the folks at IK Multimedia have been able to do such a quick turnaround and improve this even further. And I think a lot of folks are going to be happy. Again, I'm out of my studio, so I'm just doing a quick screenshot video, but I wanted to make you guys aware that this is out there and what some of the new improvements are to the Tonex software. So I think the first one we're going to go through is going to be one that everybody's happy about. Uh, as we remember in the 1.5 update, when we went up to the cab section and clicked it, we had the ability to go between a tone model, a VIR, and a custom IR. Now, one of the big complaints was that the custom IR window was not really usable. It was much smaller than this, and there was no ability to search. Now, we have a much larger window. You can see I have a very few of my own IRs in here, but if you had more, you would be able to scroll through those easier. You could use a little search field here to search for whatever it is you're looking for. And you also have a way to organize them from A to Z, Z to A, date added last to first, and date added first to last. So I think that this feature is going to be one that makes a lot of folks very happy. And it is a nice improvement that makes this even easier to use for those with a lot of impulse responses. Now, another improvement is there's going to now be larger windows for saving presets, editing tone models, or viewing their details. So if I was to come up here and try to save a preset, you'll notice this window is now larger and just easier to, to get get around and we can choose a custom folder to put it in as well, which is really, really nice. And that's going to be a nice feature as well. Makes it a little bit nicer to use. Also, if we were to come down to our info window here on either our tone model, or we can also flip over to our presets, we can come over here and we see that we have larger windows here that are more legible, easier to read, and much nicer to utilize. In the improvements list, it also says they've improved the drag and drop function to allow use with custom folders. So as you'll see here, I created a custom folder called surplex double cream this is going to be for my surplex double cream ultimate tone model collection which is available on my website a very nice collection that i'm really enjoying a lot but if i go up to all presets and i can come down select all of those you'll notice now when i grab them it shows me that six items are selected i could drag those over to that folder and now they will be in there and i can have different arrangements in these custom user folders. And again, like I said before, it doesn't remove them from my all presets list. I can do the same thing with tone models. I could add a new folder. Create that, you can see that it's empty. Come up to my tone models or all tone models and I could also Select all of those. You'll notice here it tells me I have six items selected. I can drag those up there. And again, those are now going to be in that surplex double cream ultimate user folder, but they will also still be in my all tone models. So there seems to be a bit of an improvement on the drag and drop function as well. When we do connect to ToneNet and take a look at the info window, there's an improvement in that as well. We're able to see some more information in there. So when we're checking out all tone models, one thing that was asked for to bring back was the ability to see when the the date added information was that tone model. So now if we go to any tone model and we come in here, click the info button, you'll notice here it says added to the library on 2023, 1228. So December 28th, 2023 is when I added this to my library. That's a feature a lot of folks really wanted. And one other feature I just wanted to point out that I'm not sure folks are aware of is the ability to, in our tone model list here, we can resize these columns. So we can just grab them, slide them around. So if we can't see the whole cab name, we can do this and take a look and see what it says uh, without having to go into the info button. Uh, but we can slide these around if you want less size used for the character and for the stomp and maybe even for the name just so you could use more of the real estate for the cab and the amp. We can arrange it as such like that. 
and we can do the same thing for our presets as well. So that is very, very handy to have. There was also some other fixes. There was a, a potential issue with user icons appearing incorrectly, and that has been fixed. And a number of other just general optimization reliability improvements. You can go take a look at the change log when you do your update and see what all the new features are. But I thought I would shoot that quick video just to run through and let you guys see the beautiful improvements that the folks over at IK Multimedia have implemented and I hope that that helps a lot of folks to get a lot more out of their Tonex software and come up with even a better workflow. So I think we have some very nice improvements now I think a lot of folks will be very happy with. So thanks so much for watching. Please like the video, share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment of watching it. Also please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I'm going to leave you today with the demo video for the very tone model that I was using in this video to demonstrate some of the changes and that's the new Surplex Double Cream Tone Model collection which is available at my website i'll have the link below hope you enjoy the tone models hope you enjoy the new software update and i hope you enjoy the music on the way out thanks again for watching ciao for now <laughs>